In this video, I want to show you how you can install and run Android apps on your Windows PC using BlueStacks. You need to download a free emulator called BlueStacks, so open your web browser and go to bluestacks.com, click on Download BlueStacks. Once the file is downloaded, click on Open File, click Yes if prompted, and here leave everything by default and click install now. This is a half gigabyte file, so it will take a while. I accelerated the video here. Once the installation is finished, BlueStacks will open by itself and it will ask you to log in to Google Play. So click on sign in and sign in with your Google credentials here. So if you have a Gmail, use it to sign in. Click Next and put your password, and then click Next again. Agree to the terms, and here I chose not to back up to Google Drive, and then click on Accept. And here you see that you have your Play Store in front of you. I will close Play Store now to show you some important settings, and I'm going to open it later. So let me close Play Store. As you see here, it has a red X on the top right corner, so just click on it, it will close. There are three important options that I want to show you. First, this is the menu here. Click on it and go to Settings. And under Settings, as you see here, under Engine, you have Graphics Renderer, DirectX, or OpenGL. So I tested this, and there are some applications that don't work with DirectX. And DirectX comes by default. So I advise you to put it on OpenGL. Once you choose OpenGL, and you click on save, it will ask you to restart BlueStacks, so I'm gonna do this now. Another important option is that on top of installing applications from the Google Play Store, you can also install applications from their APK file. So here if you have an APK application, you can simply click on here, and it will prompt you to install an APK application. If you have it, of course, you select it and you simply click on Open and it will be installed. There is another option that I want to bring to your attention. And it's an option that manages multiple instances. So this is one instance of BlueStack. It means it's equivalent to one phone or one Android device. If you want another instance of BlueStacks, you can click here on Multi-Instance Manager and even you can start it from the search box if you type BlueStacks and you see you have BlueStacks Multi-Instance Manager, but I'm going to start it from here. So if you click on it, you will see that here you have the main default instance that is running and you can create a new instance. You can choose for it to be a fresh instance or you can clone the instance that is running, but you should close this one before you clone it. This is the fastest way, is to clone it. Once you clone it, I'm going to do this just to show you. So it's telling you clone from BlueStacks because you have only one instance, which is this one. And give it two CPU cores and give it two gigabyte RAM. Of course, all this depends on the power of your PC. And I'm going to leave everything by default. So I'm going to click on Create. It will tell me cannot clone because the other one is running. So I'm going to click on OK. I'm going to... Stop this one. I can stop it from here or from the X here. So I'm going to stop it from here. Let me close it. And now I can clone this one. So I'm going to clone it. So click on New Instance, Clone Instance, and then simply click on Create. It will clone a new instance. And this way you'll have two instances of BlueStacks. For instance, if you have two users on the same PC, you can run two instances, as you see, of BlueStacks, which are equivalent, each one, to an Android device. So I'm going to close the one that is the copy, and I'm going to delete it. So this one, I'm going to stop it, and I'm going to delete it. If you don't want to clone the instance, you can simply create a new one. You don't choose clone, you choose fresh instance, but this will take time, so I'm not going to do this now. I'm simply going to close this and I'm going to go back to BlueStacks and I'm going to install some Android applications and show you how you can run them. So you have on the starting page here, 
you have your Google Play. If you don't find it, simply click on the Home tab and click Google Play. And here simply you can install any application you want. So let me for instance install Facebook. And I'm going to click on Facebook. And this is Facebook. I'm going to install it. So if you want to run Facebook directly, you can click on Open here. It will run, as you see. So I'm going to close it now. I'm not going to log in. And also, you can run it from here. So it also created a shortcut within Bluestacks under Home, My Games. And this is Facebook also. You can run it from here. And you can also run it from your desktop because it will create a shortcut on your desktop. I like to keep my desktop clean, so I'm going to delete this one from here. So let me install another application because I want to show you how you can toggle between the applications. So I went back to Google Play Store and here, let me install, for instance, Among Us. So I simply search for Among Us and click on Install. So this is Among Us installed now. And as with Facebook, you can open it from here or you can go to Home, My Games, and you see it, it is here. You can open it from here. And when you have two applications open, so this is Play Store and this is Among Us. Let me open Facebook also. And here you can toggle between your applications like this. And also you can close your application from within here. You click the red X here, they will close. So that was my tutorial on how to install Android apps on your Windows 10 PC. If you tried it, please share your experience in the comments below. And that was all. I hope you enjoyed this video and found it useful. If you did, please share it, subscribe to my channel, and give this video a thumbs up. Thank you for watching.